I'm going to make this diagram a little bit bigger. And then we're doing some calculations. We need to find the area of this shape, which is going to involve lots of half base times height. So actually, I immediately see that this one is going to be a, uh, sorry, this first triangle on the left is going to be a half times two times two. So the area is going to be two. But now I need to find the bases of the other ones. So I'm going to need to apply Pythagoras' theorem to get this length here. It's going to be two squared plus two squared square rooted, which gives me root eight. I'll keep it in third form like that, I think. And we're told because they're similar, right, that means that, um, you know, basically the base and the height will be the same. And therefore, I can also make this one root eight. Um, and maybe I work out the area of this one while I'm at it. So it's going to be a half times root eight times root eight, which is going to be a half times eight. So I'm going to get four for the area of this triangle. Then I'm just left with finding um, this one. So it's a right hand triangle. So it's going to be root eight squared plus root eight squared square rooted which is going to give me 8 plus 8, 16 square rooted, which is 4. So I've got 4 here because it's a similar triangle member, and 4 here. Then I'm going to get a half times 4 times 4, which is equal to 8. We could have used area scale factor, if you know about that in theory, because, because this length is double this length, the area will be 4 times as much. That could have also got us 8. Um, but it doesn't really save that much time. So overall, the area is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 8, which is 14.